particular case, we want to control the trajectory, but we want a little higher launch than normal. There's two real ways to do this, one of which is maybe a little bit safer than the other, but as we get set, I'm going to take, in this particular case, I've, I've selected a five iron. I'm going to move the ball a little bit forward in my stance or more towards my front foot, which effectively adds some loft to the golf club. I'm going to make a nice full swing, maybe a little bit higher in the back swing. Not trying to swing around, we need a little higher launch. So ball a little bit further forward, which adds some loft and a little bit higher back swing. And we're going to launch that golf ball up in the air. That'll be really beneficial to us if we're playing into an elevated green or if we want a little bit extra distance on a downhill situation, uh, a downwind situation, we can get a little bit higher launch. All right, now here's the second way of getting a little bit higher trajectory. Maybe a little bit riskier, uh, but it's worth a try. It may help you, and you're sure welcome to, to have a go at it. In this particular case, it's similar to how I would play a bunker shot in the fact that I might open the face just slightly at the address. Again, I'll move the ball slightly forward, but I'm going to aim my body position slightly left. This effectively is also adding loft to the club, and I'm going to go ahead and make a swing along my body line. That also will produce a higher launch. Maybe is a little bit riskier, uh, more risky, but it's sure another way of getting that higher trajectory, what we're desiring in that trouble shot situation. Best of luck to you. Both of those ways will work. I think the first one's probably a little bit safer way of going.